Just call me Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> It's not fair. Every time we go out, it's this shit. The whole thing is a pack of lies. No, but that man Pete, he said he met this man who said he was... Oh, he said, she said, they said. They're always saying something. But do you want to know the truth? Me and, me and Callum actually met up, like, the summer before we um, started filming. Because we because we both knew that we were doing it then. And we went to Chiswick, didn't we? And we, we had, like... No, we had, like... We had the boozy brunch, didn't we? Oh, the boozy brunch, the boozy brunch. So we, we only planned to go for a boozy brunch for like, we were like, oh, let's go for a quick chat, like in an after. I tell you what, we were there for like four hours. <laughs> the boozy brunch did into a boozy all day, yeah. Is yeah. that the day that I couldn't make it? Because that's st- I was at Stitch's birthday. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wasn't invited. <laughs> Lydia, Lydia wasn't no, invited because she, she was invited. too she was too busy with her foot mask and her bloody nipple mask. <laughs> I love a bit of self-care, I do. <laughs> oh, to be fair, I was I was pretty starstruck meeting Lydia. Like, I, look, I'm not just saying this for the sake of this, because hey, I did not compliment Lydia a lot. <laughs> 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 but, but, but like, when, sh- Lynn, shall I tell her, this, shall I yeah, say the story oh about Oh my Maria? gosh, yeah. L- help me out, Lynn. But basically okay. when, when um, we met, me and Lydia, she, she messaged me the night before the read-through being like, um, can I come and borrow your charger? We were in the hotel and I didn't have yeah. a charger. So I was like, oh, hey, Callum, really nice to meet you. Or, <laughs> can, I, can, can I come up and get your charger? And he was like, sure, I'm in room 507 or whatever room it was. So then I was like, okay, great. So I, I headed upstairs to his room and he answered him, the football was on. And Callum is an obsessive football fan. Like he's a football hooligan. He, yeah. he <laughs> cannot speak to Perfect. Callum when the, he changes. He becomes a monster when the football's on. <laughs> And I opened, I, I, he answered the door with the charger in his hand. He was like, there you go, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm like, so nice to meet you. Like, come down to my room. He's like, I just ordered a pizza. I was like, great, bring the pizza down to my room. We can chat. We can like talk through things. Like, amazing. And he's like, okay, yeah, sure. I'll be there in a sec. And when the pizza arrives, it was like two hours later. <laughs> Callum came down to my room and he was like, here's, here's, here's the pizza. And he brought it. And there was one slice left <laughs> and, and the crust. <laughs> he's like, he's pizza. And I was like, I was thinking, what took him so long? But obviously, I couldn't say that because I didn't know him well enough. <laughs> so, but hey, he now, like, hey, now, you tell me straight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would bloody tell you straight. <laughs> now you blush, you bloody scream your head off. <laughs> and then the next day, we arrived at the reader and we pretended not to know each other, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't being rude. I was just really nervous to meet Lydia because she she was a she was the star of years and years, which I loved. So it was like, hey, hey, they say never meet your idols, but hey. <laughs> Nathaniel is so thoughtful. Anytime yeah. like you're sad or if you're really happy or something happens, Nathaniel will get you a gift and he'll be the first to write a yeah. card and send a letter. Although actually Amari for Christmas while we were filming wrote us, well, I'm not sure about you guys, but he wrote me a letter. <laughs> we all, all got a letter. <laughs> we all got letters, right? Yeah, and we've got like a little letter. Uh, which I yeah. still have. Be and Callum a- does nothing romantic. I, I do nothing romantic <laughs> ever. I do nothing. I never do nada. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing for <laughs> nothing for you guys. Callum like tends to come out with like just every so often he'll tell you this story about this like former life that he had. Like oh my gosh, when I was a kid or once. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Once I applied to be a driver, or like this, I, I interviewed Prince Charles. Prince Charles. He just comes out with all of these like amazing stories about like former jobs that he's had, and it's like, what? Hey, just call me Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, when I was younger, I, I worked for Blue Peter. I did like a six month sort of thing with them, like as their royal correspondent. And basically, it, our last day, my last day, we, I don't even know if it's allowed, but we basically like followed Prince Charles around all day. And then we got an interview right at the end of the day and it was just like wild. It was mad. Like, I couldn't even believe it was happening. But there I was speaking to, hey, Prince of Wales, Prince of wow. Boy. I, I think 
the, the most nerve wracking moment was meeting Ollie for the first time because we met in a musical rehearsal room. We were kind of in this like sports hall and it was, it's not, I keep referring to it as a sports hall. It's definitely not a sports hall because it's in Media City. And um, it was like this really large building with a piano in it. And I was with the singing coach and I was singing my musical number and um, we're waiting for Ollie and Ollie walks in and I'm just like, oh my God, okay, I'm still singing this song from the French Revolution and Ollie Alexander is behind me and I've just watched Glastonbury and ah um and then we began singing that was, was our first introduction to each other we sang um we we started singing um more 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 uh, and within an hour we kind of did all the songs and rehearsed it and within an hour Peter uh, and the producer Phil the director and the producer Phil um came down to watch us perform so we were just like nice to meet you okay and here we go can I have an A please Lydia can you give me and I was just like ah <laughs> um, so yeah it was and then when we actually came to performing those scenes I, I, I feel like I knew Ollie really well by that point so it was it, that was a lot easier he, love... he knows so much about so much I mean like yeah. yeah he comes across as very smart but he actually he is so intelligent and so articulate we actually had this I... like oh sorry go on. No, <laughs> no, 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 I led. no sorry you go <laughs> no I was going to say I, I, I really connected with Ollie on astrology and witchcraft Ollie knows a lot about it, and I was surprised oh, they, by that. We went for dinner once, didn't he? Didn't didn't we? Um, the first night, it, the first. Yeah. I think it was the first dinner that we all had together, and he like pulled out all of these. They weren't tarot cards, were they? But they were some sort of like these cards that had all these symbols on, and he oh, yeah. like, gave us each one, and it was sort of like relevant to us in that particular moment. Actually, can't remember. Yeah, I, rem I remember that, and then we were going around saying our, our star signs, and then just like judging each other. <laughs> We're like, oh, Pisces, okay. <laughs> Say, says a lot about you. Says a lot about you, though. Callum's definitely Pisces. Are you Pisces, Callum? What? I forgot. No, I'm a, I'm a Taurus. I'm a I'm uh, a bull. I'm a bull. <laughs> <laughs> should be celebrated you know i think in a, in a moment where we are looking at a particular moment in history i think where there is a chance to sort of um you know deliver a story with a level of authenticity then i think it's you know always a brilliant thing to do and i just think that that should be celebrated and we should you know take take joy in that he's amazing neil is like like I say all the time, but he's like a, to me, he's like a magician, what he can do in front of the camera. Like I, I learned so much from him and um, he's just brilliant. Like he's just so generous and was, I learned, you know, just even like, put, like acting alongside him, I was learning so much, do you know what I mean? Like, cause he's just brilliant. Like he's just, a, he's just like, he's really, he's mastered it. You know what I mean? He's like got, he's, he's, a, he's that type of actor that he's at that time in his life where he just knows what he wants to do. And yeah, what, what, what a guy, like I, I love Neil. I think he's the most, I think he's brilliant. I and mean, he's a legend, he's an icon. Oh my God, um, he is, we actually, um, me and Nathaniel actually saw him on a, on a video link the other day for something that we're doing. It was so like lovely to see him again. He is just like, a fountain of knowledge of course but so like generous with everything that he does and he I don't know there's just almost something like hypnotic about listening to him speak he's just so and en like entrancing and just he's wonderful he like shared some really like amazing and actually quite harrowing sort of stories of, of the time you know P and Russell were sort of like talk sharing a lot of stories about you know their experiences so again it is that thing of like what an amazing thing to be sort of like working with actors and being able to sort of engage in that time because they lived through it. It, it, it was such an amazing thing. And he's so like just brilliant and funny as well. Lo love him, love, love, love him.